it being 4 p.m., I'll call this meeting of the Committee on City Services in the Northampton City Council to order. I'll note that all members are present. Councilor Ryan McDonald, Councilor Dennis Bidbaugh, Councilor Marianne Labarge, and Councilor Maureen Perrin, myself, Chair. I note that there is also no public comment and so we'll ask first if there is a motion to approve minutes of May 1st. So moved. Second. second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 That's unanimous. And so we don't have a lot on our agenda except for the yeah. half a dozen appointments and we'll see about what we want to do in the next coming months. But we do have um, one, two, three, four, five, six appointments. And I'll ask, I guess we'll take them in order. Marianne Labarge uh, agreed to speak with James Ryan and Michael Laga. Yeah. Um, James has stated why I want to be on Parks and Rec Commission. I am very active in the community and have helped on many occasions with youth sports while raising my children. The local parks and recreational sports program in the Northampton community have been a positive influence on my family. I feel this opportunity will allow me to continue to help give back to my community. What I vision and would like to see happen if I am picked to serve on the commission. I would like to make sure that the great work of the commission continues for many years to come. It would be my pleasure to make sure that programs and maintenance of all park and recreational programs and or facilities continue to grow and improve so that families can continue to enjoy what Northampton has established. I enjoy seeing families utilize our local recreation areas. It is important that we continue to look ahead for the next generation and the needs they may have. And many people know James Ryan, I um, mean, even his wife, they're very, very active in many, many benefits here in the city of Northampton. Anyone want to speak also to Michael Laga? Yep. Okay. He is um, telling us that he wants to thank us for considering him for reappointment to the Northampton Parks and Recreation Commission. I have been a park, recreation, and sports in Northampton for close to 20 years. My family has been actively involved also. We have also enjoyed the numerous recreation opportunities in our community. As an active member of the Parks and Recreation Commission, I, I've been a part of helping create a marketing plan developing and creating new parks and recreation areas as well as taken part in various subcommittees when needed. I look forward to further opportunities of assisting our community and to lending my skills to help to continue to provide top-notch recreation and park services to North Northampton Michael Lacka. Thank you, and would you like to offer these as a positive recommendation to the Full City Council as a group, these two from Parks and Rec? Yes, I'd like to make it. Sorry. Positive record. Motion seconded. Uh, any more discussion on these two candidates? All those in favor say aye. 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 And, uh, those are sent with a positive recommendation unanimously to Fall City Council. Okay, and uh, I believe Kevin Lake was to be reviewed by Councilor Griffith or switched. Oh, that's we right. We did a switcheroo. That's right. Although I really didn't have to interview Mr. Lake. I, I know him fairly well and I'm confident that he's done a good job on the Conservation Commission. I'd like to see him reappoint. That's, that's all I'd say, so I would move a positive recommendation. And I would second that. Moved and seconded. Any more discussion about Kevin Lake to the Conservation Commission? I would just add that we're lucky to have someone of that caliber take on a role like this. Yes, and Absolutely. for many years. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. So I'll ask all those in favor say aye. 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 And that seems unanimous then to uh, positive recommendation to Full City Council and Councilor Bidwell then for David Hershes. 
Yes, I, I, I spoke with David in the last week or two, and to be honest, I didn't know a great deal about the responsibilities of the trust fund committee. So he gave me a little education on the various funds that are administered there. And, uh, he clearly is uh, quite qualified with his investment background and common sense to be handling that sort of responsibility. So um, uh, without any uh, equivocation, I would move a positive recommendation for David Herships to the trust fund committee. Okay, moved and seconded. Any more discussion about yeah. David Herships? Then all those in favor say aye. 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 It's also unanimous. And the That's two right. remaining are uh, Chris Palamas and yes. Councilor. Um, Chris is on our Commission on Disabilities and he's a reappointment. And Chris states, my interest in the Disability Commission is to continue the work we have begun updating and strengthening. ADA compliance procedures in ways that address the needs of residents with disabilities to be full, a part of the life of the city, to benefit from its programs, parks, pedestrian environment. You know that I could go on at a length about how we might do this. Some of the steps will be part of the grant application. I am now drafting following a good meeting with Joanne yesterday. And that was a training we attended a month ago. And Chris being highly involved in ordinances through the state and designing them, we're looking at hopefully being able to get a grant for the Commission on Disabilities. I highly recommend him. Is that a motion? That's a motion. Second. Moved and seconded to uh, send with a positive recommendation in the name of Chris Polanis to the full council. All those in favor? Aye, aye. Aye. Also unanimous. And I spoke with Lily Lombard. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, We spoke more about her uh, more, most recent presentation before the City Council on the Public Shade Tree Commission and the great progress that she demonstrated and emphasized in our exchange um, that the city is making in that regard, uh, especially with the appointment of a tree warden and um, the numerous uh, other funding sources they've been able to secure <clears throat> over the time and so uh, she's very excited to continue on as chair and I told her I would be happy to forward her name with a positive recommendation to the Paul City Council. Yes, that's an action. And seconded? Yeah. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so what that brings us to is the end of these appointments. I know that Pam, there are two more that were from the mm -hmm. Well, you want to give those assignments out? Well, let's talk about the, uh, was it two or one? I know. I think there were two oh, documents. It, I think uh, there's two. Jeff Jones. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Craig Del Pena. Oh, it was Craig also. And there's one more. And Jeff Jones yep. is a... Um, he is He's a, a reappointment. He is a North No, he's not a reappointment. He's from the. Uh, oh, he's he, the, he uh, is. Yes, he's he the, is. The, he's the he required like appointment he lives from on the Ward. Northampton Housing Authority. Right. Yes. Yeah. Doesn't he live in Ward Six? I so think. he's the NHA representative. Right. That's required by our ordinance. Representative to. The uh, con I mean the CPA committee. All right. All right. Community yeah. Preservation Committee. Right. And he is also the chair. I can't believe right? Is it? No, no, I'm sorry. He's no he's not the chair. He had been. But he is the Northampton and Thousand Authority uh, representative. And Craig's appointment is also to the uh, Craig is to the historical commission. And he's a reappointment, right? Mm -hmm. And Jeff is also reappointment. Well, I guess it's reappointment because he serves presently as the um, housing authority rep. Right. Yeah. So they want to put him on what? CP? He's already on it. CPC. Right. 
He just is for a reappointment. Yeah. Any? Uh, I think what they're saying is because he already is on the housing authority, because there's an opening, they're taking him and placing him in CPC. He's already been on the CPC. Yeah, he's he been has. serving, yeah. He's, oh, I thought he was taking somebody's place. No, no, he has been serving on the CPC for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right, so so he replaced Tony Hochstead, who had the seat until she resigned last right. year. Yeah, so he's been on for a while. Because right. mm -hmm. I know he's been involved in some of the recent know. discussions. So this is a reappointment um, to the Community Preservation Committee. Um, I just, you know, maybe we could ask the mayor for some clarification at some point about inter-commission appointments, because I've, I've gotten confused in the past. For example, on the Transportation and Parking Commission, the Planning Department, excuse me, the Planning Board has an appointment to the TPC, which the solicitor has told me council doesn't have to and can't approve or disapprove one way or another. Oops. It might have been because it's because that's by ordinance through the I guess the mayor's administrative code okay uh, so perhaps this is an exception because it's the housing um, it's an exception for the CPC because oh, the because ordinances in the CPC the ordinance in the CPC which is chapter 22 okay. states that all of those Mm -hmm. um, positions on the CPC need to come to the mm -hmm. city council for approval. Yeah. So we, yeah. All right. So I think that ask that question to be safe, we should uh, yeah, we at that. least send a recommendation and then better safe than mm -hmm. sorry. Thank you. So um, does anyone, would anyone like to speak with uh, I'd Mr. I'd be glad Jones? to speak with Craig. Okay. Del Jeff Jones? Oh, uh, Craig uh, Delpena. Oh, I thought you asked for you. Oh, okay. so Craig Delpena for uh, Historic Commission? Yes. Okay. Anyone else like to speak with Jeff Jones? I'm I happy defer, to. I mean, he's a Ward 6 resident, so I defer to Council Bars, but it's totally up to you. Up to you. Up to you. Would you like to speak with Jeff? Sure. Okay. So, why not? Yeah. And I know that they've been dealing with some. I think he lives on Woods of Earth, too. <clears throat> they've been taking up some issues, especially regarding, you know, the. Uh, fair wage resolution and how that impacts, you know, coming up with some language for them. They've been in the midst of that. All right, so those two, we could. So those are going to have to come, what, in August, July? We right? could take them up in July. July 10th, right? And we could um, decide, or. Because we changed it. We could talk about anything else we'd like to consider. July 10th would be because of the holiday the previous week. So we have to consider that and whether and when to have an August meeting. So we could consider um, whether this and any other appointments that might come next week, because we might, I haven't heard that anything, have you Pam, anything coming on the 15th? It'd be nice if we had some heads off, because it's hard to do what we want to do. Right, but we know we at least have these two to consider. Right, but we don't know what's going to come in our packet next week. So we could at least take up these two appointments and something else if folks want to reach out. Do you remember who else is on our list? We had come to a... Yeah. You put together this nice little schedule summary. Yeah, we did look at that and um, hold on a sec. Oh. Well, what we did was we spoke with three other committees at our last meeting, mm -hmm. I mean, three other boards, departments regarding the specific issue of the opioid epidemic mm -hmm. and so then we considered whether we might then fall back on some of the other departments that are part of our charge mm -hmm. and that would be uh, building commission um, 
We didn't get to hear from Chief Casper regarding this particular issue, but that was, she just happened to be unavailable that day. So. I don't see anything about what we were doing here. No, maybe it was the previous meeting. Yeah. I think it was. Yeah. But we know we had uh, what we had scheduled. We could, um, we know that we did not get to hear from the chief. And um, there could be some other broader issues that we might want to consider hearing from the police department. The ones that are mostly our charge are public safety, police and fire. Uh, building commissioner, Board of Health, um, some of whom we've heard for, from. I think you, you guys had asked to hear about the DART program mm -hmm. from, from the police chief. Yeah. And she wasn't able to make that meeting in May. Right, right. So, so we could, I mean, we could ask her if she wanted to broaden that scope to include some other, any other updates around the Police department, or are there any other priorities folks can offer that they'd like to? We had left this open considering it was budget time. Right, and right, might, right. Some things might rise to the surface, but um, mm -hmm. I'm not sure that we had anything in particular that wasn't covered in our budget. If folks were inclined to, inclined to ask the, the chief to come, come and talk, it, we could also um, be a little interesting to get her perspective update on, the, on the, the school's program. School, school, school police interaction high five. after the <laughs> high five. It's just, just what, what, what has emerged and how that's going. I mean, if, but I, I, would, I certainly would not ask him specifically for that, but if she was going to be here anyway, if, if the committee felt that was important. So if we were going to ask her about the DART program that she didn't get a chance to speak to us yeah. about, we might also ask if she has any thoughts regarding that. Um, and if she couldn't make it, she has somebody that's involved in it. Any other thoughts? Could be you could in the meantime send them to Pam and, um, and part of your communication with the mayor's office because mm -hmm. we do need to coordinate this with the mayor's office now again. So we could see if. Chief is available on July 10th. And this would be more, because this would be more targeted to the police department. Mm -hmm. um, any other thoughts? But what if she can't, but she can send somebody? Yeah, that's typically, I think. Yeah. Actually. I think it was more of an emergency last time she planned to come. Because she usually has her officers that are trained on these programs. Is there anything at the... Uh, I think we'd more likely hope to hear from the chief just because we don't want... I mean, we're hoping that she will come. Yeah. 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 Um, is, it, is there anything that came out of the budget hearing that you might... I don't, I don't recall about? anything specific out of the hearings. Okay. Uh, you know, there's the capital improvement investment into the rifle range and the shooting range stuff. And we know the fire range is on its way. So is there anything, do you want to take a look ahead and think about whether you want to forego August? I don't know what, but I mean, at that point, we'll have been uh, a week into what would ordinarily be a four-week um, interlude. But uh, we can talk about whether we want to meet again the first week in August at, our, at a regular meeting or forego that or play it by year and talk about that in uh, the July meeting. When's our first meeting due in August 7th? August 7th. So, I mean, if we don't have, I mean, we can, it's not, it's been typical that we have had a limit, more limited summer schedule, but um, if there is something, if we want to take a broader look and pull together and some of it will depend on what comes up in July and our yeah. appointments, sure. which is what will mm -hmm. impel our getting together. I would think we might want to keep it on the books for August 7th, but if we get to our July 10th meeting, there's nothing required. Right, and so we are scheduled, right. We yeah, are scheduled right now. At that point to cancel. 
So we'll keep that now, and we won't really think about something that far ahead two months from now. Um, maybe, I'll, uh, if you could send that uh, little chart once again, mm -hmm. that would help us um, see if there's anybody prompt. So any questions that people might have. For so we're parents. scheduled for the seventh? Yep, we're scheduled every first of the month. Um, Although I think that brings us to another issue in July, I mean in September. We should take a look at that day just yeah, to make sure we, we have should. that. Um, we're scheduled Labor Day, which is September 4th. That's Labor Day. So we want to look at either the following or is the Patriots Tuesday. Patriots Day on the 11th? I, I must have moved the meeting because I, I looked at all of the holidays. Okay. Did, did I not? I'm taking a look right now, Pam. I'm going to open up the 11th and see if we scheduled it that day. I don't have it in my book. Maureen, is it Patriots Day? I show it as Tuesday, Labor September 5th. Huh? That, that would seem like something. Labor Day. Labor Day is the 4th, okay. and, and, you, and you've already put in the 5th. I didn't have it in my book, so. I, 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 would, I wouldn't have put it there unless someone did. No. Oh, that's good. No, so it just confirms so, that. So I think I think we must have decided that. Can so. you let, uh, tell me what it is? The Tuesday, fifth? Tuesday the fifth, or yes, Tuesday the fifth, since Monday the fourth is Labor Day. Four p.m. At the time, I think we must have decided that worked for folks. That's so. what you put in your book there. Okay. But my, this is not the definitive source, but that's. <laughs> well, then let's talk about it. Do we want to? Uh, make sure we have the September meeting on the Tuesday. I don't care. Still works for me. Does fine. it work for you? Yeah, it's fine. That'll be fine. Okay. Is there a problem with this room? No, because I, I booked everything for the whole year. So. And you already booked this time. That's why. All right, so we have it. All right, so we're good for the August. Is a August is a question. We have a scheduled September meeting. Good. And we have one city council meeting. Right? Fourteen. One hundred. Do August or July fourteenth is the city council meeting, and then not again until September um, August seventeenth. Is it July 13th? Yes. This is the yeah, 13th. not the 14th. Yes. This is the 13th. Okay. All right. Uh, any new business? No. Motion to adjourn? I would make a motion second. to adjourn. And second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.